Welcome back, Charlie here. What if I told you that superhumans exist in real life? These are the toughest, fastest, and strongest people on our planet. These people are what happens when the human body is pushed to its absolute limits. If you mess with these guys, you probably won't live to tell the tale. Let's get into it. Han Laoshi this man is known as the Chinese Beast. Watch his training videos for just a few seconds and you'll see why. Han Laoshi is a 33-year-old man from China, and he is one of the strongest men on the planet. He is an expert at Kung Fu, Wushu, and boxing. He is known for moving around very heavy chains and ropes. I don't know about you, but this guy really reminds me of Bane. He even wears the mask. But I honestly think Han could take on Bane in a fight to the death. Despite this guy being so muscular and heavy, he's also incredibly fast. It looks like he's about to break the speed of light. This martial arts monster has gone viral on Chinese social media. It's hard to believe this guy has the same body as us. Just like Han, we both have two arms and two legs. But even with years of training, I don't think I could do this. If you ever meet Han in real life, then you'd better stay on his good side. I would not want to find out what happens to enemies of Han Laoshi. Iron Neck you may have heard of the monk training routine known as Iron Head. I'm not Iron Head. He is, you see? Iron Head. This involves a monk slamming their head against a concrete wall. This eventually makes their skull incredibly strong. And then they can break things like wood and even iron on their head. Check out this teenage Shaolin master breaking an iron bar on his head. But I think what's even more impressive is the Iron Neck Routine. This man is known as the Monk with the Iron Neck. He definitely earned that nickname. Just watch as he pushes a van with his neck. Most people could not do this with their entire body weight. But this Monk can push a van with just a spear on his neck. These people are so hardcore, the van probably had its handbrake on. I think this is just more proof that you should never mess with a Shaolin monk. It really seems like they have superpowers us regular humans simply can't get. Muay Thai Superman The movie Ong Bak the Thai Warrior proved that the art of Muay Thai can be incredibly deadly in the right hands. Well, nobody proves this better than the Muay Thai Superman. The Muay Thai Superman is from China. Not only are his kicks and punches very powerful, they're also super fast. His training exercises have gone viral on Chinese social media. But thankfully, he's never had to use any of his skills on his fellow man. That is, if this guy really is a man at all. To me, he seems like some kind of superhuman. I think if anyone went up against this guy in a fight, they would lose. Just look at how he demolishes this tree in a matter of seconds. I'd love to see this guy go up against Han Laoshi. Who do you think would win? The Muay Thai Superman can break a beer can or a coconut with one kick, and even bend a metal bar at a 90 degree angle. Who needs heavy machinery when you have this guy? Giga Uguru Giga Oguru is a British man who is known as a real-life ninja. This man can fight you blindfolded and win. He's literally able to vault over his enemies, but he is also a master of parkour. This means he can fly around anyone he's fighting. Punching a punching bag is too soft for Giga. Instead, he punches trees, the ground, and metal weights. He's also trained in how to use nunchucks. Yep, this guy is a real-life ninja. The way this guy glides around makes it seem like he defies gravity. Giga can perform dozens of punches in just a few seconds. It's safe to say you don't want to mess with this real-life ninja. Amandeep Singh this man is known as the Steel Man of India. Many call him India's strongest man. 
That has been Singh's goal from a very young age. Not only is he insanely strong, but this man also does not feel pain. He can be punched, jumped on and hit with wood. He can also be hit with steel and feel no pain, hence his nickname the Indian Man of Steel. This guy may also have the strongest teeth in the game. He can literally lift an entire human being with just his teeth. He's even pulled a Toyota truck with just his neck. He could give the Shaolin monk with an iron neck a run for his money. Singh can even bend a metal bar with just his teeth. This guy has the bite of a shark or lion. If you go to India then, I don't recommend messing with this guy. After all, he's now training to compete in the UFC. Who do you think would win, this guy or Conor McGregor? I think it would be a pretty fair fight. Vito Pierbazari if you saw this guy walking down the street, you might cross over to the other side. Vito looks like a typical movie villain. He's incredibly tall, strong, and has a perfect black beard. He's even played a bad guy in a movie before. But despite his scary looks, he's a very nice guy. Vito is a German fitness blogger. He has an intense workout routine. He works out for 12 hours a day to maintain his physique. I think it's probably safest to stay on his good side. Wu Quang Wu Quang has recently gone viral in China. This is for his unique style of rural martial arts. Instead of using a fancy gym, he uses construction sites. He can be seen chopping rocks and bricks into two. He can even break out of many zip ties with ease. If you want a beer, this guy can open one simply by squeezing the can. This man can even chop into a durian fruit. The durian is a fruit with a very sharp and spiky shell, but Wu has hands of steel. Wu's kicks can break baseball bats, wooden planks, and even metal too. This man can even split an apple into two simply by flexing. Levan Saginashvili this man is known as the Hulk of Georgia. This man is one of the best arm wrestlers in the world. He has won the arm wrestling world record seven times. He weighs 397 pounds. His bicep size is two feet. This man's fist is the size of a human head. So it's no surprise he beats almost anyone in an arm wrestle. It is crazy to think that you and I are just like these people. The only difference is they have done thousands of hours of intense training. These people are very inspirational. They show that any one of us can become a superhuman if we try. But the amount of dedication and pain these people went through to get to where they are now must not be understated. Would you want to be a superhuman like one of these guys? Or are you content being a regular Joe like everyone else? But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below, which of these people would you want to mess with the least? For short videos, be sure to check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.